On a video link to the courtroom, this is Maurice Hall. He was in the car with George Floyd on the day he died 10 months ago. Step out and face away. But the jury may never hear what he has to say about that day. Maurice Hall plans to invoke his Fifth Amendment right to refuse to answer questions and avoid incriminating himself. The judge will decide if it's worth calling him as a witness at all. You swear or affirm with a penalty of perjury that the testimony you're about to give will be the truth and nothing but the truth? Yes, Your Honor. Have a seat, please. The jury has continued to hear from former colleagues of the officer accused of Mr. Floyd's murder. Johnny Mercil trained Derek Chauvin in use of force. Restraint, he told the jury, had to be proportional to resistance. What about a knee on a suspect's neck? Sir, is this an MPD trained neck restraint? No, sir. Has it ever been? Not to my neck restraint, no, sir. <clears throat> is this an MPD authorized uh, restraint technique? A uh, knee on the neck would be something that uh, does happen in use of force that isn't unauthorized. And under what circumstances would that be authorized? How long can you do that? I don't know if there's a time frame. It would depend on the circumstance of the time. Okay. Which would include what? The type of resistance you're getting from the subject that you're putting the knee on. And so if there was, uh, say for example, uh, the subject was under control and handcuffed, would this be authorized? I would say no. The knee is on his... Derek Chauvin's defense showed this image from a training manual illustrating the use of a knee while handcuffing a suspect. Very different, the officer said. Ultimately, if that person were to be handcuffed and circumstances dictated, the officer would be permitted to continue to hold his knee in that same position. Agreed? Uh, I would say uh, yes. Uh, however, we've cautioned officers that be mindful of the neck area and to look for the shoulder for okay. placement. So let us pray, dear God. Outside of court, the family of George Floyd stood in a moment of prayer. This trial has been difficult to watch. They know it is the process of justice they've demanded. Greg Milam, Sky News, Minneapolis.